Hello YouTube and the YTPC. Smoking buddy Matt. Back again. While I uh, knock my laptop and uh, camera. Wanted to come on and make a quick video. A little quick check-in. I've been thinking about this video for a little bit. I um, want to do a couple of VRs tonight for uh, a couple of different YTPC members that do have uh, giveaways going on. And that is Yusuf Smoking Saeed. He's got a giveaway going on. And also Hype and Abhor response for, for both of them. So Yusuf is celebrating one year in the YTPC and he's doing a giveaway asking us uh, what uh, kind of what our desert island pipe and blend would be. Um, if things went sideways and we we had to grab one pipe and one blend. Uh, what, what would we grab? Well, first of all, I do want to say congratulations, Yusuf, to one year uh, in the YTPC as a presenter and as a commenter and a viewer initially. I know that's that's how I got started for a long time. I was just a lurker, so-called, um, but I learned a lot and I felt like I met, met a lot of people. So I'm glad you did decide to turn your camera on. A uh, great addition to the group, and always interested in what you had to say. And definitely still keeping your family in thoughts and prayers for recent events. But if I just had to grab one pipe, get out of town, get out of Dodge type thing. I think it would have to be this pipe. I thought about it. I, I have I have a good number of pipes that I enjoy. But this is a 7LE 114 Roma Lucite. Nice rusticated finish and this really nice amber swirled stem. And it's, it's a bit on the larger side, so it wouldn't be a very good walking around clenching pipe. Although, you know, it's not too hard to clench. It's not a very heavy pipe after all. But this is one I really enjoy just sitting down, having a bowl. I feel like I get really good flavor out of this. Um, by the way, I am. So I've got the pipe and in it, I do have some Prince Albert at the moment. This is a really great pipe for Burley's, Virginia Burley Perique blends. Which is what I primarily smoke out of this. And as far as the blend goes, I didn't think about this because I like Sir Walter Raleigh, I like Carter Hall. I think those could easily be kind of everyday desert island blends for me. But there's one that kind of stands above those and that is McClellan's Plum Cake. Um, I don't have any at the moment, and I thought I had a tin just to show, but I couldn't find it. So I need to get some more of that. That's a nice navy blend, a tiny bit of Latakia, so tiny, I don't even notice it all the time. If I can keep this going. But I think overall that would have to be my number one. Um, it's a very enjoyable smoke. I enjoy the flavors and the nuance that you get from it. Um, so once again, congratulations, Yusuf. And now for Pipe and a Pour, Donnie. Also just celebrated one year in the YTPC. Um, doing a giveaway for that, also in conjunction with 500 subscribers. So congratulations, Donnie on the one year and 500 subs. He's doing a giveaway as well, and he's asking a couple different questions to to us to kind of talk about 
what our most unique pipe is, maybe most unusual pipe, and what the worst smoke we've ever had. Well, before I get into that, I do want to give a toast to you for the one year, 500 subs. I do have my pour here, which is Rebel 100. Um, so this is a wheated bourbon. And I don't know if I go into tasting notes as much. Although I get into, the, get into that a little bit. Um, 100 proof. It has a nice pepperiness to it. Um, which is normally something I associate with like a rye whiskey. And I, this may have some rye in it with an addition to the wheat. I don't know. Uh, 100 proof. Some nice kind of vanilla honey notes. So I think it's a bit... It's a bit on the sweeter side. I do enjoy bourbons that have a nice uh, butterscotch note to it. This isn't quite there, um, but I think it's definitely on the sweeter side. And I would say this is kind of a sleeper bourbon. Uh, it's one that I heard about from another YouTube channel called SLB Drinks. They talk about all kinds of different bourbons and review, do blind tastings and things like that. Um, a lot of them are uh, bottles I can't get here. <laughs> so I think this is a nice one to keep in mind though. So while well, you're asking what, what's our most unusual or unique pipe, well, I had to think about this because I don't really have any pipes that I would really consider unusual or particularly unique. Um, most of the time I prefer pipes that are very traditional looking have that kind of old world personality, codger personality to them. Um, but I, I did grab two. I've got two here. And first one I'm going to show is, is this. This is a Missouri Meerschaum Bent Diplomat. And really looking at it, it's a pretty standard looking cob. But what sets this one apart is I put just the standard stem on it. So if I have it here. When I got this new, it had the, this is the diplomat type stem, a little bit more of a detail on there, obviously in bent. And I didn't really like how it felt. It kind of, I don't know if I'd say it's chunkier, but it, it was a little, it just didn't seem to suit this pipe for me. So. I bought a couple extra stems online and I just put the standard one on there and it just it just changed it for me I just feels way better smokes great as a good cob should so I do pull that one out yeah, quite often and the other one I have is is this this is another Savinelli this is the part of the series 3 so it was unfinished or it's unfinished colored up very nicely in the 129 shape I think it is and it's fairly unique because I don't see that shape a lot um, I don't see a lot of people talking about that it kind of has this triangular ovaloid shape on it and an apple apple bowl nine millimeter filter but this has a really nice grain to it, it smokes great this was the first Series 3 pipe I ever bought, Un it was unfinished. Um, Smoke's Great convinced me that those were good pipes to get. I wish they were still available. Um, and still Smoke's Great to this day for sure. So, so he's also asking us to talk about the worst smoke we've ever had. And I really had to think about this because I think, for the most part, this has been a very enjoyable experience, uh, interesting hobby to uh, delve into, learn about pipes, learn about blends, meet people on the internet. Um, I've had some blends that I didn't particularly like for one reason or another, but 
I had to go back to an experience I had fairly early on. Um, probably within the first month or two, I had bought a pouch of Sir Walter Raleigh, which turns out Sir Walter Raleigh is one of my, my favorite blends. Um, definitely a great codger blend for me. And I bought this pouch, and this was the old, you know, produced in USA, Tucker, Georgia. This stuff came really dry. And I opened it up, it had a really unique pouch note, kind of a nutty, kind of a cocoa topped aroma to it. But it was so dry, and I've been watching videos and reading stuff online about how, you know, tobacco is supposed to have such and such moisture content and this and that and I thought well I'm gonna have to rehydrate this and of course um, knowing nothing about how to rehydrate tobacco I, I did the best thing I could and that was put it under the sink uh, kitchen sink faucet um, you know just just a few drops but it was probably a little too much. And instead of letting it sit and maybe air out and blend together better, I took it out and put it in a pipe and I smoked it. Um, so I was still struggling with how to keep a pipe lit, how to pack properly, um, good cadence and all that. Um, so you can, you can bet along with, it happened to be kind of a breezy day. So that pipe was getting hot and of course I got I got tongue bite from that and I have to remember that as one of the worst smokes because it taught me a good lesson on what not to do and maybe some some things to work on on how to more enjoy pipes once again raise a glass and a bit of a toast to one year 500 subscribers and good luck to the winners in both giveaways. Ah, sip on that there and get the pipe going again. Mm, beautiful weather we've been having. Nice night, currently sitting at 70 degrees as the sun is just starting to go down. Got a light breeze, beautiful fragrance of lilacs in the neighborhood. Got lilacs here along my garage, down at the end of my driveway. And it feels like it's just a beautiful spring day. So with that, I am going to say you take care, have a pipe, take the time, take care of yourself. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye now.